Absorption is a part of our footprint. This is the absorption, and it happens when somebody tries to sell, sell, and sell, and you see negative delta over here. It beats contracts like 20, 17, 17, trying to sell, but the end result is completely opposite. The price met the brick, the wall over here. And the price was not able to go lower despite how many sales happens in this area price was absorbed over here the price moved upward under the section 5 we can select how we would like to display absorption this is the buying absorption and this is the selling absorption there's actually two selling absorption right here in order for absorption to being display on the chart, we need to have three conditions met. Three conditions. Now, the first condition is the ratio. That's the way we calculate. So the imbalance should be at least 400%, not 210, but 400%. In this example, an example of the buying absorption, we have the 12th. 12 is an imbalance. It is the selling imbalance. And the 12 is 400% higher than 2. So that's the first condition. The second condition is we should filter by volume. Okay, this is filter by volume. This is the ratio of 400%. This is the second filter by volume that the volume should be no less than 10 and obviously 12 is more than the filter 10 that's why it shows and the third condition is depth that we may select right here is the six ticks so the price from here travel at least six ticks this is the price line in order for our absorption become visible as a signal to us. So the selling absorption over here calculates that we have a buying imbalance. This is the buying imbalance. Okay, 19, which is more than 2 for 400% or more. 19 is also, according to our filter, is 19 is more than 10. So it's valid. And now we can see that the price travel from this area, when it travel more than six ticks, which we selected over here as a depth, then imbalance become visible to us as a signal. And a selling absorption, what does it mean selling absorption? That means all these extreme buyers with their imbalances no longer able to move the price up and it become a signal for us for sale and the same for the buying absorption on the buying absorption we see that sellers aggressive sellers they create imbalance they try to sell but all their sales were absorbed and no longer move the price down. That's why the buying absorption means a potential signal to buy. So the price actually went higher and it created a green candle.